This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And we're ready to bring you the NBA on 2K Sports. It's the white team taking on the black team. The starting fives for our game. Here are tonight's starting lineups. And guys, check it out, Kevin Love. What can we expect here? Well, we're going to see one of the experts in the league at making the long outlet pass to get the fast break going. Always with his head up, immediately looking down the floor when he gets the ball. And I also can't get over how much energy he expends rebounding the basketball. He goes all out on the boards every single night. The Cobra from out on the wing, he knocks it down. You know, that's one way he can finish, but not the only way. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. D passes to Raymond. Down low. Back to start. Blocked. And the kid picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Hey, you know, these calls can be some of the toughest in the game for the officials. It all happened so fast, but I really think that was the right call. The defender was not really set in that situation. That's two turnovers already in just the first couple of minutes of play, so he's going to have to pick up his game. Well, this is how you completely rattle an opponent's rip. Yeah, you know, such terrific on-the-ball defense to trigger the transition opportunity. And it wasn't just the tough D, it was the exclamation point they put on the fast break with the slam. Here's the Cobra. Pass to Bowman. Here's Black Hole. And the call will be against D. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And the kid picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And fouls could be an issue here for him, so he's going to have to be very careful. Here's the Cobra. He's off from 17 feet. Couldn't convert, but nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next trip. You know, the only tough part of that basket for him was getting into such good position. The rest of it seemed easy. Here's the Cobra. Passes it to Cool Hands. Here's Black Hole. He passes it to Cool Hands. Makes the lead pass. Count the bucket. My goal's got his first points for the game. Late reaction from the defense. And he's always going to make good on that. The pass to Garbage Man. Inside. Here's Rain Man. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Pass to the Cobra. And the call will be against D. That's foul number two for him. Well, he's got to watch himself now. I mean, that's two fouls already, and he can't afford another one. Here's Cool Hands. To the inside. Right block shot. The doctor, Mati Scuta. The shot from the low post is good. It's a great play under the boards for him. And, you know, that's the standard that he sets. It seems like all those second chance points, I mean, they're there for him game in, game out. Here's Cool Hands. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Kev, I caught up with Coach David Black. Dictating the pace and making sure that pace is up tempo is what he's hoping they can do in this one. He said, We're fast, we know it, and we're going to make sure they know it too. And thanks for that story, Doris. Not enough on that one as it misses. Great close out there, forcing the Aaron shot. Well, he made it a tough shot again. He didn't give up on it, and he got a hand up. D passes to Starks. D. Backs him down. Just five to shoot. Here's Rain Man. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Rain Man's got six. And so it's Black with it. Trailing by two. The Cobra passes to Cool Hands. Here's Black Hole. Passes to Cool Hands. And that's collected by Grant. 
Well, that was not a smart play there. That's a wild shot. They can get something better. No, that's not smart basketball. He should have passed that shot up. Tell you what, boy, it's hard to watch when the guy gets good shots and misses them. He's missed everything this quarter. There's the pass to the Cobra. A minute 42 left in the first quarter of the game. The Cobra has gone one of three shooting so far. There's a good screen. Pass to deep. Here's Rain Man. D passes to Rain Man. Another shot. Misses the layup. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. To the middle. Got a hand on it. And here they come. Throws it up high. Boy, he is a strong finisher on the fast break. Yeah, he sure is. He remains in total control, even at full speed. I love that about him. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. That is good. See the way he times his passes so well. That's a great assist. Clock management. This is where, Steve, they can get a two-for-one. Yeah, I think it makes sense. As long as the first one's a good one, and now you play D, you get the ball back, one more shot. Rising high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. Yeah, what a way to wrap up that possession. Cool hands passes to Black Hole. Here's the Cobra, covered by Starks. Here's the Cobra. Off target from outside. Tough three-point try there with a hand in his face. Boy, you'd be lucky to make that one against great defense. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Here's Cool Hands. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. The White. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. Taking a look at the White team performance here, Clark and Steve. What do you think they've been doing right? What do you think they've been doing wrong? And the defense has been key in building this lead. They've really clamped down hard. They've done a nice job, Steve. I think challenging every shot. A hand up on every shot. Kevin Love out there with Tristan Thompson. Then there's Deion Waiters. Then there's the doctor. And it's cool hands in at the three slot. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Brent is out there with Rain Man. Then it's D. And it's Garbage Man. And it starts in at the two guard. Well, coaches love him because of the hustle he's continually showing out on the floor. And I think where you really see it most is on the offensive boards. And you know what? He is also relentless on the boards. He works as hard on his rebounding as anybody you're going to see. And the white team with possession. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Fast to garbage man. He dishes it to Starks. Thompson with the block. And they'll keep possession. the black team. Black holes check in for Tristan Thompson. James Jones comes in for cool hands and it's the Cobra in for Deion Waiters. Lock at six. Can't connect from short range. Great job defending the hoop there. So important to have good presence defensively inside. The pass to Raymond. With the lead pass. And here comes the break. And he misses the fast break layup. The Cobra has gone just one of five from the field. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. 
CBS, Kevin Cavaliers head coach David Blatt, unknown here in the United States, but he spent the last two decades establishing himself as the premier coach in Europe. Last season, he led Maccabi Tel Aviv to an upset EuroLeague title. One GM described the team as, quote, outgunned at every position except coach. Kevin, it's been his dream to coach in the NBA. Any consider him a genius level coach. Of course, thanks. We'll see how he does. Now, here is Starks. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And that goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. They get it back. And Black Hole's going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep our eyes on. Here's Rain Man. Eight points for him. That's good. Rain Man's got 11 points. He's got a nice stroke from long range. And you know, he's not likely to pass up those opportunities when he gets them. Ball stolen. Yeah, and guys, I think he feels like he can make a few improvements during this timeout. Just kind of make a couple of adjustments, get his club back on track. You know, coaches are always tweaking and tinkering with things mid-game. Actually, sometimes they overdo it. Checked in for James Jones. And Dion Waiters subbed in for the doctor. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here. Misses from close range. And here's the black team now. Seven point differential. To the paint. And there's the foul and it's on Garbage Man. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, close, but I didn't think he got on balance quickly enough. And it's hard to draw charges as quick as players are at this level. That's not an easy bit of work there. Now here's Waiters. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Pass to Cool Hands. Uncovered. And misses it off the right side of the rim. He slipped into quite a funk here, Clark. I think that's a good word to describe it. I mean, the basket is looking awfully small to him at the moment. Now about three minutes gone in his second quarter of basketball. Passes it to Rain. They've hit a bit of a slump here in the second after a solid opening quarter. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And of all the things about him uh, that you like offensively, it's his composure that jumps out at me. The way he never gets rattled. The defense can get in him. He doesn't care. He just continues to do his thing. And another skill that sets him apart, his success rate on catch-and-shoot jumpers. It's not every player that has such a great feel for that particular shot. He's always been extremely reliable at the line, and today's been no different. On the wing starts... Now the pass to Raymond. D. The good-looking shot from the wing. D's got seven points in the game. They're starting to get a little triple happy. Falling in love with that three-pointer. Yeah, they're really starting to cast jump shots here in the second, Clark. I think they've got to mix it up and get the ball inside a little bit. Pass to Waiters. One-on-one -on -one here. Starts the pass to D. Buries the long-range jumper. D's got five points now this quarter. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on assist today. Beautiful to watch. No one covered. It's his first three-pointer of the second half, which actually makes it his first of the game. Inside. It's picked off. Pass to the Cobra. Here's Black Hole covered by Starks. Black Hole passes to Cool Hands. Can't get it to go. And White the other way now. They've led by as much as 10. 
It's just been a brutal outing for him. He still hasn't managed to make a shot, and the team is struggling because of it. Boy, I tell you what, the D was way too soft right there, like Jello. You got to do better than that. Clark, he's not the kind of guy you want to get in the way of. No, exactly. I mean, he's a hard man to stop coming down the lane, but, but you've got to have good position before the play starts. Now let's send it to Doris on the sideline. Well, you have to admire Dion Waiter's confidence as he feels he's going to be the next great shooting guard, not shy to proclaim himself as the next in line. Waiter saying, I really believe that I'll eventually be the best shooting guard in the NBA. This year, I'm going to show a lot of people who doubted me and still doubt me. I'm going to show them. Can't wait to watch, guys. Well, Doris' confidence is so key in this league. And the ball goes out of play and able to keep it in. Matthew Delavidova has checked in for the Cobra. Here's Waiters. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Cool hands passes to Thompson. Fades away. That's good. There's 21 seconds left now here in the second. Passes it to the garbage man. It's up against Thompson. Garbage man, the pass to D. That's good. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. Oh, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. And that does it for the first half of play. second half about to start here in just a few moments some outstanding numbers in this one for D 12 points and he's come up with a couple of nice steals today too well, he's been playing a very energetic brand of defense Clark you gotta love it they've got Matthew hell of it over Mike Cole is out there with Kevin Love and it's cool hands and it's waiters and at the one the pass to Raymond and it was still over the rim. Offensive basket interference. Here's Cool Hands. G out there with Starks. And it's Garbage Man. Then there's Grant. And it's Rain Man in at the three. Cool Hands passes to Black Hole. Jacks up a three. Love can't hit. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those four. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. Oh! And Waiters with the stuff. Now that's finishing your work right there. Powerful two-hand, Jim. You're right. Uh, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. And right now, here's the white team. They lead by seven. Good. And their solid play in the paint continues, guys. Well, that's been the focus, Clark, as we've watched. I mean, they've created one chance after another inside. Now here's Waiters. Layup off the pick. That's blocked. Starts the pass to deep. Puts the lead pass in front of him. Here's Gary. Off target with his three. One for four from the field since halftime. They're having a tough time getting it going here. Back to Waiters. They set the pick. He passes to Cool Hands. Here's Black Hole. Six to shoot. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send them to the free throw line. Don't give them an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Force free throws and work to keep them out of the lane next time around. And the black team making a change here. Jones has checked in. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. Garbage man, the pass to ring. Maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable dunks. But you know, they've got a nice lead. Don't take any chances. The simple one-hander is just fine. Here's Rain Man. He's got 13 to the inside. Here's
Here's Waiters. They trail by nine points. Here's the Cobra, covered by Starks. And the kid picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Goes up on the wing. One for five on offense. A slow start here in the second half. And right now, here's the white team. D passes to Garbage Man. Here's Rain Man from the arc. Here's the Cobra. He's got five. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Taken away. Like he saw some things out there that needed adjusting. He wants to talk it over a little bit with his club. I don't think you can ever go wrong burning the timeout if you see something you don't like and you need to talk about it. Keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Thompson with the rebound. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Bowman passes to Harris. There's the pick. Down low. There's the steal. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. How did he get that to go? Even after the whistle, I like the awareness, the alertness, and the presence of mind to finish the play. And right now, here's the white team. Eight-point game. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Mm, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. Here's the screen. Bowman passes to Cool Hands. Sinks the 15-footer. Cool Hands got seven points. You know, he's got a quick trigger from that range when he senses that the defense has backed off. Starks. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. I don't know of too many other players, Kevin, who have his level of concentration offensively. He just seems to have that singular focus you need as a shooter that you know, even if a defender's all over you, you still just lock in and let it go. And another thing that stands out about him, Steve, he has the ability to score even with defenders draped all over him. He's so strong around the goal. Plenty of space. Offensive rebound. Goes back up. Cannot hit. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Or the defenders have to make sure they tag it. Here's Cool Hands. Back to Harris. There's a minute left in the third quarter of the game. Kicks it out to Love. Harris outside. Bowman passes to Harris. Thompson outside. Back to Harris. Pass to Cool Hands. Shot clock at six. They shoot again. Starks with the rebound. Starks has got three rebounds so far in the game. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he shot the ball anything like he's capable of. To the middle, garbage man. Pass to deep. Mark down low that time, and he got the three-second goal. Now Love. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Monty Stuta. Wide open. And the jumper is on the mark. 16 points for D. 
And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. And we welcome you back to the NBA here on 2K Sports. If you're just tuning in, this is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And we're ready to get going once more. The players have a chance to have a short break and get some rest themselves and get refueled and hydrated with some Gatorade. More terrific basketball in store for us tonight. James Jones is out there with Kevin Love. Then it's the Cobra. Then there's the Doctor. And it's Black Hole and at the five, roaming the paint. And the technical free throw is good. You know, even though they're down, they're putting on a show at the free throw line. Itself. I think they've done a good job of making the most of their chances at the line, and they've got to keep it up to take the lead. Down low. Rain Man passes to Garbage Man. Boy, the kind of moments you love to see. Excellent defense leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking. It's really explosive. High octane for sure. Oof. Yeah, turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities. That's what it's all about. Mm. Tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happens. Full 24 second shot clock. Here's D. Rain Man tries again. What? And there's the foul, and it's on Garbage Man. That will be foul number five on him. And there's the pass to Black Hole. Back and down. From deep three-point range, sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. The Cobra has gotten two of his three attempts to fall from beyond the arc. Pass to Rain Man. To the paint. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Love. Passes it to the Cobra. Starts with the steal. Ahead. And the dunk by Grant. How about that nice one-two punch there, guys? Great defensive play, and of course, it leads to the great basket in transition. Love the attacking style there, Steve. You know, all coaches hate defensively when you give up easy points in the paint. That, that's inexcusable. So that, that's the reason for this timeout here. I think it came down to the fact they were getting beat inside, and that's why the coach called timeout. They were not winning the battle inside. For the black team, cool hand. Comes in for James Jones and Dion Waiters subbed in for the doctor. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what David Black said to the team. No surprise, really. The turnover situation was the focus. He told them, listen, we're giving it away, guys. We've got to protect the ball, play within ourselves, and get quality shots. Kevin? And Black Cole's going to pick up a foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Here's D. He's not exactly striping them from deep. He had one three ball in the first half. Still bageled in the second. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. And that one ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. So it's the white team now. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, it's been really sloppy out there. I understand that they're trying to be aggressive, but still, I mean, you can play fast, but still play efficiently, but they're not doing that right now. Here's Rain Man. Dion Waiters making his last shot. And there's the foul. It goes on Cool Hands. That's his first foul. The dish to starts. And the pass to Garbage Man. Here's Rain Man. Stolen by Waiters. You know, turnovers really weren't part of the story here early on, but that's changed now. They're starting to have some trouble handling the ball. 
it's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. You know, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. Now, here is Starks after Dion Waiters' miss. Here's Rain Man, banked in off the glass. His shooting's been outstanding. Definitely one of the reasons his team is up in this game. Here's Waiters. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. The Cobra covered by Starks. There's the screen. The Cobra passes to Cool Hands. Hits it from three-point range. Well, it took him a long time to get that three-point range. Maybe this will get him going. Here's the lob to the hoop. Boy, the prettiest play in basketball to me. Execute it to perfection. I don't think you're going to get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Well, unless you're the team getting dunked on, of course. Waiters passes to Cool Hands to the inside. Stolen by Grant. One fifty-seven left in the fourth quarter. Inside. Here's Gary. No luck. The black team going the other way with it. Here's the Cobra. Well, their worst fear came true. This is still anyone's ball game, but losing him to foul trouble will make it a lot tougher. Collins checked in for garbage man. Here's White, 13-point lead. Pass to Rainman. It's intercepted. Feeds it to Love. The finger roll finish at the bucket. Boy, he is a strong finisher on the fast break. Yeah, he sure is. He remains in total control, even at full speed. I love that about him. Now, here is Starks. <laughs> Here's Rollins. The doctors checked in for Dion Waiter. One fourteen left to play in the final quarter. D passes to Raymond. D lays it in without an inch of room around him. They've taken so many shots down there, and, and they're knocking him down. Really good looks in the paint. No doubt the offensive philosophy today. Pound that thing inside. Well, it's the edge they've had in that area, on the glass, that's played a big role in this game. Yeah, they've got some strong guys, Steve. Guys that are strong and well put together, and they've used that strength to their advantage down low. And that one's good. Well, guys, tonight they came in here and really dictated the terms of the engagement, which is very difficult to do as the visitors. You're right. That's not usually the way things work in the NBA. It's a great win, and no question, it's going to be a happy plane ride out of here. Got a piece of it. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Some solid defense right there from Starks. Great defense in the paint there, making it tough on the offense. That's what he brings, a presence. I mean, you saw it on that miss. I'll tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. Now, no way you can come back from this deficit. Just not enough time left on the clock. And he gets it to go. That's what has to happen if they're going to turn this thing around. He's got to take charge. He's got to be aggressive and really look to push here offensively. D. D. Nailed from three-point land. Well, if it wasn't already out of reach, it is now thanks to this spurt. Just keep on firing, man. No reason to slow down now. 
And so the road team gets the W in this one. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now we present the Jordan player of the game, Garbage Man. Don't forget about the day. This is the most king. Yo, it's about a thing. Uh.